one local family welcomed not one, but two new additions. And if you're thinking I'm talking about twins, think again. Our Kimberly Kerr met the new baby boys and explains how these two newborns are already best friends. Meet Wayne and Julianne Wynn and their newest addition. This is Walker. Hey, he was born on the 6th, 11.54. He weighed 7 pounds, 2 ounces. Right? 7 pounds, 2 ounces. Yes, he was 20 and a half inches long and born with a full head of hair. Almost exactly four hours later, James and Lucia Cohen welcomed their first child into the world. Little Andrew Allen Cohen, 19 and a half inches long. He 6. is 6.6 6. 6 pounds and he was born at 3.58 on the 6th of April. Funny thing is, these little guys are actually cousins. That's right, Andrew's daddy James is the twin brother to Walker's mommy, Julianne. Julianne's due date was April 12th with a scheduled cesarean section on the 6th. Lucia was expected to give birth on the 9th, but went into labor a tad early. We were laying in bed and, and I all I heard was, Shut up. <laughs> and I immediately knew that J Jimmy had texted her that they were coming into the hospital. I just, at first, I was like, Are you sure you're really going into the labor? And she was like, Yeah. So I was like, Okay. It didn't hit me really at first. And then until we were driving in, I was like, Wow. Same birthday. Luckily, the new parents got rooms right across from each other at Shore Medical Center so they could help each other out along the first few days of parenthood. The twins grew up as best friends, doing everything together from working the same jobs on the Ocean City Boardwalk to now having babies on the same day. We were just so excited. We figured, like, you know, there's, we know how wonderful it is to grow up with, like, someone so close in age. So we thought they would probably be at least, what, like, two weeks apart. Mm -hmm. And they're, it's like a permanent best friend. Good to be able to rely on somebody. You can talk to them. It makes it easier. So it's always good to have somebody. We were both in Egg Harbor Township, so they'd be going to the same school at the same time. And then we were so excited they were both boys. Both sets of parents were able to bring their bundles of joy home today, and the twin siblings say their new baby boys will grow up not just as cousins, but as twin cousins. I'm Kimberly Carr for SNJ Today.